Welcome back to another episode of the Levity Flowcast. Today we sit down with former UFC and Bellator fighter and now coach at the Mat Factory, Chris Dempsey. So let's sit back, relax, and flowcast. I mean, I, I'm from Beaver County, so Beaver County is always football, football, football. So, mm-hmm. I mean, when you're 10 years old, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you're going to go play in the NFL. Well, <laughs> size and stature and speed that I have, I wasn't going to go play in the NFL. So I had to figure something else out. Hey, yeah, UFC is the same level. <laughs> Some may disagree, but fuck that. And so, speaking of such, like, with fighting and specifically the UFC becoming so much bigger with, like, people like Conor McGregor, even Israel Adesanya – where do you see the sport going in the next five, ten years? I think it could go one of two ways. And I think one way is because the UFC is doing all these things to be like a, a mainstream, like how they have the, the Reebok deal, the Venom deal, and things like that. And if you look at any other major sports leagues, they all kind of do that. So they could either take over and be that premier uh, promotion but they're going to have to do something about the pay because a lot of the fighters, especially the fight, the older fighters who have a name for themselves are leaving to go where they can get more money. So I think that's an issue. I mean, if you look at any, any other professional sport, basketball, football, whatever, every league has their own players union. Well, Mm -hmm. MMA doesn't. Mm -hmm. And so I think until that players union comes around for that or, uh, the UFC just finds a way to um, match everybody else's pay that I, I think it's just kind of going to be this battle, this constant battle of we're going to pay you this much and then you're going to get that whatever you want to call it happened last weekend. That Those guys, I mean, Askren made a million dollars on that. For, for what? It was a joke. Yeah. And so, like, there isn't that much money for the athletes in it right now. So until somebody steps up and says, okay, hey, here, we're going to pay you like this is your real job, it's probably just going to keep going in circles. And do you think that's actually coming, that players' union? No, not currently. Okay. I mean, there's a, there's a big lawsuit. It's a class action lawsuit mm-hmm. against the UFC right now that's going on. And depending on how that shakes out, it's possible afterwards. Because when I was still in, they were trying to do a players' union, but mm-hmm. they were like, the UFC was basically just like, yeah, if you, if you do a players' union, we'll just go grab the next guy. Mm. And so they made it very lucrative to the top, the top one, five percent, whatever it was, that make all the money. They're like, well, don't join this union and we'll keep paying you. Where all those lower level guys, where they could just shuffle through, they didn't care. Mm. I think one of the biggest things that was surprising that a lot of fans, folks probably wouldn't recognize. As you said, transitioning to a Premier League and doing the Reebok deal, and then now the Venom deal, and how people don't understand athletes lost exorbitant amounts of money. Oh, yeah, big time. And not, it wasn't replaced. It wasn't equivalent of. Um, could you talk a little bit about that? Conor McGregor made, what, $50 million or whatever to, to fight Mayweather, and I, I know that was boxing and everything, but... but he made he made I think ten million when he came back to fight for uh, the UFC and yeah, could be fight that yeah and then you got guys who are signing contracts that are brand new who mm-hmm. they have to work a job on the side like you're in the Premier League and you're still working a job on the side how how can you compete with those high level guys when you're not when you're not being able to have that as your main focus Demetrius Johnson one of the greatest pound for pound fighters in the world was working for FedEx yeah. Are you fucking kidding oh. me? He had to work for FedEx. Mighty Mouse. And, you know, <laughs> say what you want about the lower weights. That man's pound for pound one of the most skilled fighters you could yeah. ever watch. That dude was delivering packages and working on construction sites while training. Yep. I think it's. Well, I think a lot of people don't that. recognize that. That, the, yeah. that these athletes are severely underpaid. And the fact that, you know, you can look at the you know top 1% to 3%. But, man, I tell you what, when... The Fertitta brothers sold for that big number, that four point billion. I think that opened up everyone's eyes and was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, we've been scrapping here, putting our lives on the line, and these guys are the ones that are raking it in. So, I think that was really important for folks to note because that Venom gear is cool. I, yeah, I, I like cool. it; it looks good. But like, boy, it took a lot from the a lot from the athletes. I I watched the uh, the fight last weekend with uh, Ben Askren and man 
I was, it was real cringe to watch. It's a clown and show. It yeah, was a clown show. It was worse than WWE. And it did one point three. Right. Now, if you know the world isn't completely stupid, you have. We would assume that you have to say, okay, you fought a fighter, but you didn't fight a boxer. So to get, give him real credibility, he's got to start actually going against boxers, I feel, which could bring more attention to the sport. And then you have his brother in a few months or whatever going to actually fight Floyd. I think they canceled that. Really? I think there was no smoke behind that. I think people didn't want to see it. No one wanted to see Floyd. <laughs> I'm getting mad just talking about it. Right <laughs> I mean, I'm not happy about it. As a fan. I want to relax, relax, put my mind at ease. Good friends and good vibes. Now that's all I need. When life hurts, come down and flow to levity. Let your problems wash away into serenity. Whoa.